Don't feed the wildlife, especially if, uh, like this one back here, or this is your backyard. All right, don't do that. Don't feed them. Yeah. Crystal Dominguez uh, shows us why this is becoming a bigger issue in South Texas. I'm at a park here in Leon Valley and I've come across several deer who are not scared of me and that's because people have been feeding them for years. So I've seen the deer come right here, maybe a few inches away from my front door. Celeste Peralta has lived here for more than 40 years. She says deer are everywhere. I've seen about maybe seven and one buck. Parks in Leon Valley have a large deer population. Residents near Raymond Brimkus Park tell me the deer have been around for years. Is it a problem? Is it a nuisance? To me, no. We leave them alone. We don't feed them. But other people do feed them. Yeah, they run here and then my dogs. They hear them coming down this way. Timothy Holm and his son Adler take a stroll down a wooded trail. Deer are everywhere. But as a parent, he's mostly cautious about aggressive bucks. During the rut, they're more aggressive naturally anyway, uh, but you factor in food and that and you know, sometimes it may not be safe to be back here. Leon Valley officials say feeding these deer random food can be toxic and also deprive these animals of proper nutrition. Texas Parks and Wildlife say that when deer gather in large numbers, it increases the chances of spreading chronic wasting disease, causing deer to have neurological issues. I think there should be more control. Leon Valley attempted a deer feeding ban seven years ago, but nothing materialized. Now an ordinance will be voted on. If passed, the ban will go into effect in May. Warnings will be issued, then fines up to $250. Signage will go up. Feeding will be prohibited at city parks, natural areas, and drainage areas. Holmes says residents need to be educated on the dangers. If that doesn't work, maybe put those fines in place. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. And for more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button right over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app to get live news coverage, weather alerts, and more wherever you are. And don't forget to tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV for live local reporting every single day. We'll see you then.